Hey, my name is Luke Monnington, and in today's video, we'll be discussing how to run very large and very powerful open source large language models locally with a normal home setup. Nothing crazy. First, I will give a demo of how to run the Bloom model, which has 3 billion parameters. Then I will discuss methods and sources to get models that are far larger and far more powerful working locally on a normal home setup. Finally, I will compare these open source models with GPT. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content in the future. So let's jump right into it. We'll be going through this Colab notebook, which is a demo on the Hugging Face website. A link to the notebook and other documentation is in the description. Also, if you want to run this somewhere other than on a Colab notebook, it's worth looking into the hardware requirements. Here are the current requirements as of the date of this posting. A link to where you can find these requirements is in the description. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the runtime of your Colab notebook is connected to a GPU. The GPU is available in the free version of Colab, but in this demo, I'll be running it on Google Colab Pro. Next, we'll be running this block to install the Bits and Bytes Transformers library and Accelerate. These libraries were developed by Hugging Face and Big Science in order to make the models smaller so that they can fit on an at-home GPU without much of a decrease in performance. Here, we are checking the GPU that we have available. We need a T4 GPU for this. If you don't have a T4 GPU in this code block, try disconnecting and reconnecting. Here, we are defining our variables in a helper function. The name variable is the name and size of the model. Here, we are doing the Bloom model, specifically the 3 billion parameter size model which is their smallest size. This text variable will be the input string for our function. And this max new tokens variable will tell the model what the maximum number of tokens that it can generate. Here's the point where we will be loading the models. I'm speeding up this part a bit since it can be a little slow. You might see this warning here. This doesn't impact the demo. Now we are able to make inferences by feeding a string into the pipe method, and then the model generates an output. Now we can try it with this other string and feed this new string into the model, and we can see that it generates an output too. Here's the tweet from Tim Detmers where he introduced this model. In the tweet, he has this graph which shows how much hardware would be needed for the larger models. As we can see, for the largest model, which has 175 billion parameters, you would need eight of the A100 GPUs, and each of those GPUs can cost $15,000. A big reason why you need so many GPUs is because these models are so large that they don't fit on a single GPU. You may remember that we imported the Accelerate and Bits and Bytes libraries in the beginning of this demo. The reason for this is that these libraries help to reduce the amount of space occupied by the model on the GPU. If we go further down in the Colab notebook, we can see that the model that doesn't use the Bits and Bytes library requires 60% more space than the model that does. Using this library makes some of the smaller LLMs able to be used on a single GPU, but the full-size model is certainly going to require a lot more hardware, even if using the bits and bytes library. The main bottleneck to running these bigger models is the size of the GPU VRAM. But let's say you wanted to actually run a bigger model, much bigger, and you wanted to do it with a home setup without an expensive GPU. Is this possible? The answer is yes. There are some solutions. If you just have a good enough CPU and a bunch of RAM, you could actually load some decently sized models. For example, with this repo, you can get the 30 billion parameter Llama model running locally if you have 70 gigabytes of RAM. Another great repo for the Llama model is this one. This model implements it in C++, and based on the README, would allow for use with up to the 65 billion parameter model, which can even be run on a MacBook. This would be an incredibly powerful model that could be run locally, this is 20 times more powerful than the Bloom model that I just demoed. And as I just mentioned, it is possible to even get the largest model, the 65 billion parameter model, working on a personal computer using the previous repo. As a quick comparison of the Llama model in these repos with GPT, Meta says that the 13 billion parameter version outperforms OpenAI's GPT-3 model on numerous benchmarks. And as I just mentioned, it's possible to even get the largest model, the 65 billion parameter model, working on a personal computer using the previous repo. Also, there are other types of models that can achieve similar results, but use a slightly different architecture and can be run locally, such as the Rockhove model here. Essentially, using repos like these would give you the ability to work with much larger, much more powerful models locally. It might be a bit slower than if you had a GPU with VRAM, but it would still work on a regular computer, and you could get some pretty good results locally using a model of that size. 
with these bigger models, you would get bigger insights, longer input and output sizes, and a much more coherent and thoughtful response. It's also possible to fine tune some of these models, such as the Llama model on a custom data set. I might make a video showing you how to get some of these repos up and running locally in the future. If you think that would be interesting, let me know in the comments and I'll make it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting and informative content in the future. Until next time.